In early April 2023, a Kenyan man contacted the police when his wife and daughter failed to return from the Good News International Ministry Religious Community located in the remote Shakahola Forest in southeast Kenya. Police were met with a grim scene upon reaching the commune. Emaciated bodies of men, women, and children were discovered strewn about the area, thrown into deep latrines, and buried in shallow graves. Fifteen severely malnourished and starving survivors were found by the police and rescued from the commune, though four later died en route to the hospital due to their condition. These survivors told authorities that the cult's leader, Pastor Paul McKenzie, had instructed his followers to starve themselves to death in order to meet Jesus, though McKenzie himself apparently did not take part in the fast as a meal plan was discovered in his personal chambers in the commune. Over the following weeks after the initial discovery, police and volunteers searched the commune and the surrounding forest and discovered more survivors, at least one of whom had been buried alive for several days before being rescued. In the meantime, autopsies of the initial bodies revealed that some of the members had died not from starvation but from suffocation, strangulation, and blunt force trauma, aligning with survivors' accounts that Pastor McKenzie had instructed members of the cult to kill the children quickly as a direct route into heaven. Pastor McKenzie is also claimed to have hired armed criminals to kill any members who attempted to leave the commune or were taking too long to starve to death. As of July 11, 2023, the current death toll stands at 350, with an additional 65 surviving members who were rescued. Unfortunately, in Kenya, attempted suicide is a crime punishable by up to two years in prison. Despite criticism from human rights groups, the survivors are transported from a rescue center to a prison where they await trial. Prosecutors claim the victims will undergo a physical and mental assessment while detained, as well as be forced to eat food during their stay in prison. Pastor McKenzie, his wife, and some 30 additional conspirators have been taken into police custody and are facing charges for murder and terrorism. They are currently awaiting trial for their crimes.